Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are chatting all about bridal nail colors. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. If you've been around, then you guys know that I am obsessed with having my nails painted. They are always painted. I've been doing them myself for years. Just like a small backstory, when I was younger, I used to bite my nails until they bled. And then as I got older, I started getting acrylic nails and I would like bite the acrylic off of my nails. It was disgusting. And then I worked at a bank, which I actually just did a video of every job I've ever had. If you're interested in hearing those stories, I'll link that video up here but anyway I worked at a bank so I was sitting at a desk dealing with customers and that was kind of the first time in my life that I was in close counters with like I don't know people who were staring at my hands as I was dealing with money and so one of my friends that worked there kept telling me to paint my nails and it would make me stop biting them so that started this whole nail polish obsession that I had for years and years. I have definitely pared down the amount of polishes that I have. I ended up decluttering over, it was like 140 nail polishes or something like that, like an absurd number. I now have a much smaller collection, but the moral of that story is that I love having my nails painted. I just feel like it makes me look so much more like me. I feel polished, I just feel good. So I wanted to talk about colors that I would wear on my wedding day. If you don't know, I got engaged in February. We are, as of now, planning on getting married later this year. It will probably change, but that's the plan for now. So I, I just kind of thought that I would use a certain color, Matter of Fiction, from Essie. I love this shade, so I thought for sure this was the shade that I was going to use, but then I started thinking maybe there's something better out there, so I decided to pick up a couple of shades and test them out for you guys. I did do swatches on my hands of all of these. I also have my little color wheel, which I will show you. I did one, two, and a couple of the shades. I did a third coat of all of the colors I'm going to share with you, so I've got lots of things. So let's get into the first color. All of the colors today are from the Essie Gel Couture line. This and OPI are my two favorite formulas. I've basically, not basically, I have decluttered every other polish in my collection. There's other brands that I've tried and I've liked, but like the color was just not my favorite or there was something. There was a reason why I didn't keep it. So these are just my two favorite brands and I don't know. These are the colors that I ended up with. I was going to try out OPI Funny Bunny. I thought I had it. I knew it was in a pile to get rid of, but I thought I still had it and I don't. So I wasn't able to try that one out, although I've tried it multiple times and have never liked it. So yeah, just a heads up. All of the colors are from the Essie at Gel Couture line and they will all be linked down below. First, let's talk about first fitting. That's what I have on my nails right now. This is the first shade that I tried out and it's just this really nice creamy color. I've tried a quite a few white shades over the years. I want to say the first white I ever tried was OPI Alpine Snow and that one was so thick and gloopy and it looked streaky and it, it was just not good and then it would turn yellow and then I've tried Funny Bunny which that one is not as opaque so you definitely have to do a few coats but I still just didn't feel like it was giving me that like crisp white color. This is the first white shade that has not yellowed on me. It doesn't look, I don't just dingy. I feel like it's nice and bright. It stays nice and bright the entire time. Last time I had it on my nails for seven days and it just looked just as good. I mean, there were some chips in it. I've been making tons of jewelry, so it's hard on my nails, but it still looked, the color of it still looked just as good as it did on day one, which this is the first white I've ever had that happen with. So I really, really love this shade. I will say that I don't think this is what I would wear on my wedding day, only because I don't know if straight white nail polish is going to be a thing in 10 years. So I love it right now. Obviously you can tell because I repainted my nails this color. I seriously just can't get enough of it, but I do think that I want something a little bit more timeless and less trendy 
for my wedding day. So this I don't think is going to be my wedding nail polish, but I do think it's gonna be one of my new go-to polishes, especially for summer. I think it's so fun if you have like bright accessories on and then just bright white nails. I almost forgot to show you guys on the wheel what that color looks like. So, it is these three swatches. This is one coat, two coats, three coats. I do think that you need all three coats to get a really nice opaque look. I think that the two coats is okay, but you can still see some inconsistencies in it. With the three coats, it's fully opaque and beautiful. So I do think that this is a three coat color, but I'm fine with that. The next shade I wanna talk about is this one. This is Lace to the Altar, and it is this really pretty shimmery white shade. What I noticed about this when I painted my nails is that I could see all of the imperfections in my nails and it also wasn't as, I guess, opaque as I was expecting it to be. It looked more like a topper. So what I ended up doing when I painted this was I painted, let's see, I painted one coat, two coats, and then I did the first fitting, which is the white I just showed you guys. I did a coat of that and then a coat of the lace to the altar on top. So I did use it as a topper over the white. So one coat, two coats, and then the coats with the white underneath. And I think that made such a big difference. You'll see in the footage that it just looks, I don't know, it just doesn't look perfect and it doesn't look bright. It just looks like I had a clear with some glitter in it, which is not the look I was going for. And overall, I just didn't like that you could see the imperfections in it. I love that nice, smooth, shiny look. And I just didn't feel like I got that with that nail polish. So I don't think that I, I actually don't even really like this in general. So this is a pass for me on all fronts. The next color is It Pearl, and I actually bought this color because I saw a bunch of those Instagram photos where they show their beautiful, perfect nails, and I also saw a lot of photos with this color on with people's engagement rings, and it looked so beautiful. So I knew I had to try it, and it looked, I don't know, it looks a little bit more purple, I guess, to me than I was expecting it to. It's almost like a grayy purple. This is one coat and this is two coats. And again, on my nails, you're seeing it with two coats. And I really loved this color. But again, I just don't know if this is the shade that I would do for my wedding day personally. It applied beautifully. It stayed beautifully. Like everything about it was really nice. I just don't know if this is the color that I would personally want to go with for my day, it is a little bit cool toned, so depending on what shade of white your dress is, I think that's something that you would want to take into consideration, especially if you're choosing a color that's not exactly white for your nails or for your dress. Um, you just wanna make sure you take that into consideration because your hands will be against your body or against your dress, and if you have like a cream colored dress and then bright white nails your dress will look dingy next to them and vice versa so you want to take those things into consideration when you're choosing what color your nails are going to be so this is a more cool toned color so just something to think about but yeah i i really like this color i think i will continue to wear it but this is not the shade and that i will wear for my big day next i was so excited to try this one it is to have and to gold and this one is from i'm pretty sure the monique lillier collection or collaboration that she did with essie and it's a gorgeous like shimmery bronzy gold color it looks so gorgeous in the bottle and i swatched it so one coat and two coats and it just has the most beautiful like metallic-y shine but I will say, once I put it on my nails, I had that same issue that I had with the Lace to the Altar color that you could see every single imperfection in my nails. And not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I'm pretty good at painting my own nails at this point. I've been doing it for 
over a decade. I just felt like I couldn't get like a really nice coat on there. You could just see that it didn't look perfect and I obviously don't want that. Overall, I do like the color, but I think that it's something that I would wear more for like a New Year's Eve or an event than I would necessarily for my wedding day. I don't think that this is a color that I would look back in 10 years and really, really love. So that's just my personal take. I think that it's gorgeous though. I could totally see brides rocking this color and it being absolutely stunning on them. And then the last color is Matter of Fiction. I've talked about this color approximately a million times. This is another shade that I do three coats of. So one coat, two coats, three coats. I really think you need all three coats to get that really nice opaque creamy color. This is my perfect almost white but still pink shade and this is the shade that I always thought that I would wear. Like as soon as we got engaged I just assumed that this would be the color I'd wear so when people started asking me it made me start thinking like maybe that's not the color maybe I should try other things out and now I've tried four other shades out and I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is the shade that I will be wearing. I love that it is a pink, it's girly, it's feminine, but it's not a bright pink. I think that this will be timeless because it's soft, but it's still there. It's not really a trendy color, although I do think that it's trendy. It's not like a trend that's going to leave anytime soon. I think it's timeless for photos, and I think that it looks beautiful on your nails it still gives you that pop because it's almost white that it still gives you that nice crisp pink shade and I think it'll look beautiful in my with my ring shots I think it'll look gorgeous with my dress so this I think is the winner if that changes at some point I'm sure you guys will know but after trying out four more shades I feel even more confident that this is the winner for me personally this is also the color that I wear more than any other color, which I think will also make it a little bit more special for me because then I'll be wearing the color I wore on my wedding day throughout the year, which I know it can be special on the opposite way of like a color that you never wear. So then when you see it, you're really nostalgic. So I think it can go either way. Personally, I think that I'll love to be reminded when I'm wearing this, that that was the color I wore on that day. Alrighty guys, that is everything for this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you are married, what color do you wear on your wedding day? If you are engaged, what color are you thinking about wearing? And if you are single and not close to being married at all, you can still wear all of these colors any day that you want. All of these are things that I would wear on a daily basis. So don't feel like you have to be a bride to wear any of these. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.